If you requested a vote by mail ballot for this November, keep checking your mailbox. It will be arriving soon. Over 143,000 have already been sent out in Duval County, and thousands more will be sent in the coming weeks. Tonight, News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott shows us why you may not even need the Postal Service to vote by mail. I want to speak, and this is my time to speak, is when I go in to make my, my vote. Lori O'Dell is voicing a concern that many voters have in Duval County. Instead of waiting for Election Day, she's voting now by mail. Record numbers of vote-by-mail ballots are now being delivered in Duval and the surrounding counties. Do you think this is going to present any problems? Vote-by-mail has so many transactions. This year, though, of course, we're going to have some drop zones or drop boxes, I should say. Uh, at least 20. That could relieve some of the fears, but Hogan showed us what we all need to know when filling out ballots and sending them back here in Jacksonville. I always tell them to open it, you know, gen gently because the ballot's in there. They're going to get the return envelope, they're going to get their ballot, and they're going to get a secrecy sleeve. Now, everything has instructions on it. Jim, you know that anything can happen. Uh, with envelopes. And we've seen and, that. And we've seen that before. And so put the envelope, put the ballot in the envelope. If you have a problem, if it just doesn't fit, it won't hurt you to fold it. This is the tricky part for some people. First thing I would do after I mark that ballot is sign my signature. But this is the signature that we're going to be looking for. Because Duval is one of, I don't know, a handful that hides it. Fold here. Fold here. Now it covers the entire backside and it covers the signature. Then drop it in the mail and a few days check online with the supervisor's office to see if it's been received. After it arrives, the office will process it. That could start next week as they make sure that the signatures match what's on file. If not, you'll be given a chance to correct it prior to the election. The ballots that come in will be tabulated, but the results are not known until Election Day. If you want to avoid all of that mess and all of the rigmarole, here's a couple things you can do. I'm down here at the Supervisors of Elections office. This is on Monroe Street. You can come up and just request your absentee ballot here. Once you get it, well, if you want to, you can go ahead and fill it out. You probably have to go outside to do this. Fill it out, go ahead and vote, put it in the envelope, you bring it back inside, drop it off here. That way you avoid the mail, you avoid any of the problems, and you know that it's going to be in the right hands. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.